the spell. Once upon a time, in a grand, grand old land, Alright. Let's go. What the hell are you doing? Why am I wearing a monocle? Why do you have a mustache? Uh, like, I'm Mike, so supposed to so sing what the hell this is part. going on? Give me back my pencil before you left. Place. The professors teleported all the students out of school to here. They've been setting up an encampment while you were out cold. Oh god, Nader! Mike, we have to go back! I'm afraid that would be pointless, Smoopy. The Hex of Alignment cannot be countered, and Deligoth Nader is the strongest of beings in this realm. There is no way for us mere mortals to even lay a finger on him, let alone stand a chance at beating him. I'm afraid he's right, Smoopy. There's just no way to bring Nader back to his former self, and no way for us to defeat him. Our only hope is that he doesn't simply wish to destroy everything with his great power. What about if we- Nope. Hmm. But maybe if we could just- Nope. Okay, okay. How about if we just go- I'm afraid not. Plus, we don't even have a piece of rope long enough. Oh. Wait, what? It looks like the Legend of the Dragon Warrior was all wrong. You're not here to destroy Nader. You are here to create him. Are you guys seriously giving up already? Gary? Look, you assholes. If you can't find a way to defeat Nader, then I'm going to end up losing my bet to Roman in this whole time traveling business. And that is not something I plan on doing. <laughs> but Gary, how are we to defeat the most powerful and evil being ever created? The beast can take on any shape and cast any spell. He has no weakness. Doesn't he? What about those so-called Nader gems? If you could destroy them, or even one of them, wouldn't that shatter Nader forever? Yeah, but the crystals are indestructible, Gary. No amount of metal or steel can even scratch these things, and there isn't a single spell we could use to dent them either. But wait, do you know how they cut diamonds, Mike? Um, no. With other diamonds. Oh, oh. Islanti, do you know a blacksmith that could craft us a sword? And not just an ordinary sword, a legendary sword. A legendary blacksmith, huh? Hmm. Why, yes, I can think of one. The blackest blacksmith you will ever meet. I'm not quite sure his real name, though. He only goes by the name of the blacksmith. But I'm sure if there's anyone that can reforge that crystal, it's him. And where, pray tell, might this blacksmith live? Oh, why he lives in a mysterious town. In fact, the town can only be found by those who inhabit it. Wait, the town of Hugh? Oh, you've been there? That's the town on the goddamn moon! Oh! Well, I didn't know that, but golly, if it's on the moon, you're gonna have a hard time getting there. God damn it. Do you know of anyone who might be able to throw us the way, Islanti? There is a town of Keynes to the southwest of here. I suspect someone in that town might be able to help out you adventurers. And if not, then it looks like you're completely screwed on this quest. All right then, Gary, Mike, Douglas, pack your bags. Cause we're going to the moon. <laughs> 